who was born and raised in South East London, a place that's also given us Charlie Chaplin, Bob Hope and, of course, Michael Caine. Well, Tommy took a slightly different route to them, first enjoying success as a teenage singing sensation before becoming a family entertainer, making such hit films as Half a Sixpence and then turning into a master musical and pantomime actor. Well, today he went back to Bermondsey, where it all began and where he was honoured with a blue plaque. Sarah Smith met up with the original Rockin' Tommy. It's exactly 50 years since Tommy Steele lived on Bermondsey's Dickens estate. He's never forgotten his life here, and the people here have certainly never forgotten him. I'll be an angel minus Back in the 50s, when he was still a teenager, Tommy Steele was Britain's first rock and roll star. But by the end of the decade, he'd moved onto stage and, of course, screen, often taking his guitar with him. Today, he was back in Bermondsey to unveil a plaque in his honour having been voted by the people here as their favourite Southwark icon. And clearly, he has treasured memories of the place he spent so much of his childhood. The only terrible thing about it was the school was right there. There's the school, yeah. there's the house, and there's my mum. I could never get up to any trouble because we were right on the doorstep. But here was where everything happened. You grew up here, and it's always had trees. And it was always quiet, it was always for well, kids, of course. And the only time that the area died was in the summer, even during the war. In the summer, no kids, everyone went up in. That's out to Kent to pick hops. So this place became like a ghost town. So what is it like to come back to here now? Wonderful. And especially, what, how about being recognised by the people of Bermondsey? Oh, great. I, I, I mean, I, I come here every week. When I'm in the show, if I'm in the show at the Palladium, for instance, um, I come every Wednesday to have me pie and mash. And maybe it's that diet which has supported him through such a varied career. Not just a singer, actor and movie star, he's turned his hand to a novelist, director, composer and even sculptor. Along to see him today, those who knew him from boyhood and the fans who follow him wherever he goes. I remember him when he was first famous yeah. and he used to come round in his American convertible and he always used to talk to the kids. All, all right kids, he used to say. He's so down to earth, isn't he? Yeah, you know, he's not, he remembers his roots. And they'll be pleased to learn that even at 68, he's no intention of taking life easy. Please God, it keeps going. I just, if, I, if it can keep going, it'd be really great. I'd like to be able to come down here at the, uh, and, and announce that I'm retiring and everyone's going to say, well, we can't see the plaque because the moss has grown over it. So give me another 50 years, please. <laughs> From here, it's back to rehearsals. He'll miss out on his favourite pie and mash, though, his new shows being staged in Manchester. Sarah Smith, London Tonight, Bermondsey. Great guy, on the way.